Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to build a bottom balancing device for large lithium ion cells that you would use for example in an electric car build. The first person that I ever seen bottom balance these types of cells is Jack Rickard from EVTV. And the device I am going to make here is basically just a copy of what they use at EVTV to bottom balance their cells. In fact, the components I'm using here were purchased from EVTV. This is just a short video on how to construct a device. I'll discuss why and how to use the device in an upcoming video. Okay, the components consist of a 250 watt 0.1 ohm resistor. Um, comes with the two leads you see here and they're fused and it's wrapped in a heat sink and we'll use that to pull the current out of our cells. Uh, the next thing is a Gigavac mini tactor and uh, this, uh, this has a, the coil side here which runs uh, I believe on 7 to 16 volts. We'll be running all this off a of 12 volt and uh, it draws less than an amp and this switch here can handle 1200 volts I believe uh, and 50 amps of draw continuously so this is a, a high quality uh, switch here and uh, I believe its rating is a million cycles uh, in its life so uh, it's very reliable which is what we want and then uh, the final component here is a four, re four range voltmeter um, and this is really the heart and soul of the device. It um, it will handle AC or DC voltage up to 500 volts and uh, of course I'm going to use it here for DC volts and hopefully you can see what we got going on here. This is a uh, it has two control relays, uh, J1 and J2, and uh, these are fully programmable for any voltage. Uh, full range means it, it'll anything in the one volt range, uh, it'll also go to 10 volt, 100 volt, and 500 volt. I think this takes 9 to 30 volt to operate. Uh, it has 16 different uh, pin locations here and uh, and that's uh, what we're going to use to engage and disengage um, our resistor so let's uh, let me show you exactly how to wire this up okay so let's get this thing wired up um, I have a 12 volt power supply here um, and it's just what I have laying around here but you can use anything you can use a wall wart like I said we only we need less than an amp uh, to make all this work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, pin one and two on on my meter here are the power in. So I'm going to take my positive and stick it in pin one of my meter. I'm also going to take and uh, on my positive here and I'm going to stick this wire in which goes to the arm of my relay so let me get this in here a little bit this is a bit of a tedious little thing here Make sure those are pushed in there good. And tighten the screw. Again, we got plus. We got our 12 volts coming into our meter. And then we're also going to share that and uh, connect that wire to pin 15, which is the arm of our relay, one of the relays in our meter. And 
and if I haven't mentioned it already I'm using all the same wire um, it's all 20 gauge and uh, you can use different colors if you want I'm just using same color wire because it's what I have convenient laying around so now we're going to hook up our negative from our power supply and then we're going to share that with our coil on our contactor now pin number two pin number two we're going to hook our negative side of our input And also, we're going to share that with our contactor. So we're going to hook this up to X2, which is this terminal coil side of our contactor and there we go with that tighten that up here in a minute now we're going to take our X1 which is this side of the coil and we're going to hook that into our normally open pin on our relay in a meter which is pin number 16 and there we go finally okay now this goes to pin number 16 which is the normally open side of our relay which is this one right here Make sure the screws are tight. These little wires will just walk right out on you. Okay. Now let me go ahead and screw down my terminals on my coil side of our contactor here. Make sure everything is nice and snug. Now, I have my sense wires that will hook directly to the cells. And we're going to use, again this is a four range meter, um, our voltage is going to be between two and a half uh, and uh, my batteries, my cells are resting at approximately 3.3 volt right now so this will go into the pin number six which is the 10 volt range on our four range meter that should be loose get that dude in there there we go And then the return goes to pin number eight, I believe, right here. And that's the last wire we're going to have to hook up to our meter. Alright, 
so we got our meter all hooked up now so back here where we have our ground coming in so if we energize the relay here it will make the connection here on the coil and energize the coil which will in turn energize our contactor so this is all wired up now <coughs> let's set it down here we throw those over there and then let's get our power resistor out here and uh, hook in our circuit so we'll take off uh, these are number 10 so I'll take this and I'll hook it to the A2 side of my contactor so let's get those on there firmly and then I'll take a uh, another wire I got made here and we'll hook it from our A1 directly to our power resistor so now when our relay and our meter energizes it'll energize the coil and our contactor close the circuit and uh, draw current from our back from our cells directly into our power resistor here so now the next thing is to program our meter okay so now I'm going to program the meter and what I did was I hooked my two sense wires up here to my cell I think you can see that and I'm going to turn the power on and you can see our, my meter popped on and it says that that cell is setting at 3.371 volts so I'm going to program it now so we'll take the little a little flapper down there and you may or may not be able to see it very well but I have a select button I have a right arrow a down arrow and an up arrow so I'm going to push my select button and uh, I'm going to type in 89 so I'm going to come over here I'm going to hit the down arrow 8 uh, go to the right one more time hit the down arrow and I have nine I'm gonna hit select and I get this thing it says P S N so I'm going to hit select and it comes up two and what that means is is that I am on the 10 volt range of the meter I'm going to hit select again and then I'm going to hit my down arrow uh, that's what I want I want the the number two I want the 10 volt hit the down arrow and it'll say end I'll hit select I'm back to voltage and then I'm going to hit it again and this time I am going to come over here and I'm going to select three six hit my select button and I get this uh, PUL I'm going to hit select whoops that's wrong hit select I get PUL and I'm going to hit my down arrow and then I have end I, have, I think that means filter and then by what I want is dot and I'm going to hit select and three and what that means is that's how many places uh, it's going to read so um, it's going to read three places after the decimal point and that's what I want so I'm going to hit select 
and then I'm going to hit my down arrow uh, and select end. Okay, now this is uh, where we're going. To, I'm going to program the relay, and uh, I'm going to hit select, and I'm going to go with uh, menu number one, um, right there. Hit select, and that is. AH1 comes up and that would be the high for relay 1 select down I get AL2 which would be the low for relay 2 uh, and here's the high for relay 2 and here's the low for relay 1 I'm on relay 1 so I'm going to hit select and that in the low is set at 2.5 volts which is what I want and then uh, let's see here I'll hit um, select again and I'm going to go to AH1 the high for that I want I got set at 2.8 um, I'm working on a better place battery pack and uh, that's the number I've selected uh, right now for my uh, high. So basically what that means is is that the relay will engage uh, when it reaches 2.8. I'll hit uh, select here and we'll go to the low again is 2.1 or the low is 1 and I have it set at 2.5 so my relay will disengage at 2.5 volts so I'll hit that and I'm now I want to get out I have it programmed end and there we go and this indicates that the relay is engaged when this light is on of course it should be because I am above 2.8 volts. So now I'm going to take my clamps and I'm going to connect them to my cell. And we are starting to pull power, pull current out of our cell. As you can see it's dropping. Um, and we should be about Oh, at 3.3 .3 volt, it should be pulling about 20 amps. I'll check it here with my meter. We'll just put this around. Uh, it's at 21.3 amps. I don't know if you can see that or not and that'll drop as the voltage drops um, when it gets down around 2.6 or 5 it's only uh, maybe 18 amps so we're we're currently pulling current out of the out of the battery and uh, I'll let you uh, we'll uh, we'll keep our eye on it here and uh, I'll show you when it gets down to 2.5 that it uh, it'll disengage alright so I'm getting close to where it's gonna the relay is going to uh, de-energize or disengage and you can see uh, we're falling fairly rapidly now it's gonna de-energize at 2.500 there you have it and you can see the cell immediately starts to bounce up these better place cells are very bouncy uh, it, uh, um, they're like a rubber ball or a super ball if you can remember those but uh, anyway it's going to climb back up now and uh, I'll show you when it gets closer uh, to the 2.8 and uh, it will uh, it'll re-energize the relay and start to pull current again okay as as you can see the cell is uh, creeping up 
more and more and at 2.800 the relay will engage and draw a little bit more current out of the cell now, the beautiful part about this using these components and this meter especially this meter is that we can take and I can walk away I never have to worry about my cell going completely to zero volts the meter will not let that happen and if power for some reason is completely cut off well it just won't do anything so we have to have 12 volts connected to it in order for it to engage the meat engage the relay so I'll uh, make a video um, later on of the of the reasons uh, on the on the how or and why um, there's a need to bottom balance the, the uh, cells and uh, I'll discuss that in a later video so we'll watch it here click and the the uh, the relay is going to energize here in just a second and it'll begin to draw current again it's just right on the edge as soon as it touches 2.800 it'll engage and there it goes so now it'll drive it down to 2.500 again and it'll let loose and as it creeps up it'll re-engage so there you have it I uh, hope you liked the video I hope it was useful um, subscribe if you if you liked it and uh, we'll have more videos in the future thanks a lot